a lot of questions about what are we doing with the um the how to write a paper for me and you know that's a really legit question i actually really like that question so let's kind of walk through um what do i need to what do you need to do to make sure that you've got a paper well first one make sure you've got your certify access right so just go ahead and click that link and once you've got that um, it will open in a new window and you should be pretty much so good to go and you have all the things there that you would otherwise want to have and then um so you've got that right that's good to go and then if you go to modules and you go to module three and you go to your portfolio milestone so this is essentially what you need to do for me and for this to just get graded really easy so write a project scope management these are the things that you would do now here's what i would do honestly let's just go ahead and let's bring up a uh, a word document so that i can actually just go ahead and do this like real simple here um so this is how I do it, and this is how I've always done papers, right? Honestly, is I just take this whole thing and then shove it into a uh, Word, create a new one. As can tell, I'm doing a uh, practical programming course here. All right, so just drop this in here. So now this just became all of my, this became my entire paper right here. This is it, so I'm gonna do an intro. And then what are my requirements for the project? And then who are my stakeholders? Now my stakeholders are generally gonna be senior managers and other stuff. Senior managers, the C-suite, who I like to call the C-suite, which is the CXO, CIO, CEO, CTO, however you wanted to do it. Those are generally your major stakeholders on this one. Scope, what are we building? Why are we building it? Work breakdown. Work breakdown, dictionary, roles and responsibilities, deliverables, sponsor acceptance, and scope control. Um, so, you know, what conditions are you going to use to make sure your scope stays in, in line, right? And then, again, for your sponsor acceptance, what, when do we call the project done? Um, what are you actually going to deliver? And then roles and responsibilities. Now, roles and responsibilities are a little bit interesting because these are usually a title, right? So that the CEO will do X, Y, Z. All right, or the director of IT will do ABC. So that's essentially what we're doing here. Usually, generally, roles and responsibilities aren't to a named person because that named person may go, they may leave. When you have a role and responsibilities, usually title, it works better here. And that's just one of those weird like program manager tricks. Right. But that's essentially all there is to doing this. And then you just go ahead and you save it off and you make sure it's all in a nice APA format and you have a good title page and there's no need for um, for um, references on this one. There's some rest are not required for this, right? And then that's it. That's all you got to upload. And then this is how I'm exactly going to grade it. Do you have all the required components? In other words, can I find all this stuff? If I can find all this stuff, that's a breeze, man. Content, did you actually deliver a scope project management plan and WBS? So I'm going to be focusing in on these two items, right? Your project scope, which is going to be your scope statement and your WBS. That's really where I'm going to focus my attention on. Then projects are clearly organized. Again, did you give me a paper? that is in this format as your major section headers, right? Did you give me a wall of text? If you gave me a wall of text, I take points off for organization because if I have to go hunt and find for this stuff, um, the harder it is for me to read, the, that's organization, that's college proficiency, that's being able to organize your paper so that it's easy to find everything. Um, for project management, that's like really super important. It's a big deal. It really is a very big deal to be able to have your manager find things really super easy in the paper. One of my favorite program managers um, had a phrase for it, which is be, be brilliant, be brief, be gone, right? And make sure that you have everything in such a way that that manager can read it and understand it in a very quick manner. That will do you well, regardless of wherever you are working. That's probably the biggest piece of advice that I've gotten that's been really handy when working with projects and working with managers, especially C-suite level managers is just make sure that everything they need is right there so that they can do whatever it is they need to do. 
Most managers don't spend a lot of time reading all these beautiful documents. You may make a 100-page document, and they'll read the executive briefing, and they'll pass the rest off to the director. <laughs> Seriously, right? That's just the reality of what it's like working in a company. Um, at least some of the companies I've worked in, especially people like Microsoft and Primera, were especially notorious for that. Amazon was definitely that way. Right. And if you go into Amazon and you hand them a big, long blurb of stuff, wall of text, they will kick it back and they'll say, fix it. And they'll just say, fix it. Right. And then again, APA, does it have double spacing? Is it all nice and clean? All the other things I would for that. So that's essentially all I'm looking for in, in any paper. Right. It's just I would literally just pull this out of anything. And again, same thing for your project week four. Right. However you want to do it. Let's go and take a look at project week four. your um critical thinking here, right? So they tell you exactly what they want. Schedule plays a vital role in the project. Project scheduling. Paper should be at least three pages in length. So let me see if we're going to do that. We're going to do project scheduling. Right, so let's do, let's just go right on down here. So that's what they want to have. So let me see. We want to have an intro intro it can be formed in many ways for discuss two ways two ways to per perform project scheduling two vital, vital tools for project and you can tell I'm spelling wrong but hey that's what the whole thing is for yeah interesting there we go. All right. And then that's it. And then a close. So ways to perform, right? So ways to perform project scheduling, right, are going to be things. What are the techniques, right? So techniques are going to be things like PERT, Gantt, others, right? The Kanban boards. I love Kanban boards. So those are those kinds of things. And then tools. What tools can you use? So you can use things like Jira, especially if you're using Kanban. Right? Um, PERT, Gantt, you can use MS Project. All right, so those would be your two vital tools. That's it. So there's your whole paper, right? So let's just go ahead and let's keep PERT and Kanban boards, right? PERT, which is pretty standard, and then Kanban boards, which is pretty new because we use that in Agile and in Scrum. Then the tools. Hey, these are my tools, Chira, but there are other tools for Kanban boards. And then PERT, we'll just use MS Project for that. And then there's my paper. I've formed out that paper, how I want it to go. And now I just break it down. I've got to cram that into three pages. Three pages in length, right? So a page and a half just regular. And just by putting in my, my whole thing here, I've already got a half a page, basically. So just by organizing it this way, it's all in pretty good shape. And I know I've got everything, right? I didn't miss anything because it's right here. I can just go ahead and pull this back up. Then when I'm ready to submit, I just go ahead and take that out. What I've also seen other people do is that they'll go, um, they'll actually put this into the intro, right? They'll say, the project this week is to review is to review how scheduling and then so on, right? And that's interesting. It's a legit intro. It's a really easy intro to do. But again, you want to paraphrase this. Otherwise, it's going to pop like way high on turn it in. But just re rephrase it. And then you guys notice I've got some pretty uh, interesting tools here this week. But that's essentially it. You can do all these things. And that's how to just write, write a paper. That's how to organize a really good paper. Just pull out straight from the file and then just go ahead and start organizing it in your file here. And then boom, you're good. Okay. Remember, ask me anything. I'm like really more than happy to answer any of your questions. All right, guys. Thanks for all the, the input. I've had some really good discussions on the site about this this week. Um, hopefully not too late. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later.